Hey there, everybody. I hope all of you are having a great Wednesday. I am back. I have missed, missed, missed making journals. I've been exploring different ways to create them that are different from the flow type journal that I was making. I am using printables. I have had a great time with uh, some inspiration that I got from Miss Lindsay over at Nevermore Creations. Her website is nevermorecreation17.com. So we're going to look at some of the images that I purchased from her shop. Uh, do check her out. She's got a, just a really positive, sweet vibe about her. This book is called Seaside and Dragonflies. Yes, you recognize the cover because these are the collage covers that I had for sale in my shop that I... Um, I'm pulling these out and I am making journals out of them. Uh, <laughs> I've really missed it. I've missed the, uh, you know, the cerebral process of putting these together. You have a really sweet photo of, it looks like maybe sisters or best friends and they're, they're by the ocean side. They're picking flowers right here. So we definitely have a seaside and then you'll discover dragonflies as we go through here as well. I love this image. I'll put a link in the description box below to the the paper packs that I purchased from Lindsay so you can see like how I use them I love her she's very gypsy I think that the the ocean that you can see in the back you can see the ocean here you can see the sky here just is absolutely enchanting there are images for you to glue into here or work with uh, you know this just started like creating a sense of story to me so this is our gypsy she started out here and then she's here but this is where she was born so you know let's give her a name let's create a story around her um I love to write and I like to write stories but sometimes and it's very 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 good for your head to write stories you'll see that I have done journaling cards throughout the book this is my tea dyed coffee dyed papers that are featured here and this is one of Lindsay's printables I will get the exact uh, name of this printable, like I said, listed in the description box below. I had a great time with it. The air was full of glinting dragonflies, and there's a journaling card right here for you. Lots of places to write, to draw, to, you know, you can glue book here. You can do whatever. There are plenty of images to get started with in here. This says souvenir. Um, you know, we all love Edith, um, Edith Holton, so this is a bit of Edith Holton's book. Um, I've included tags. I've taken things out of the shop and used them in these journals. So this, you know, if, you, if you're thinking of purchasing a journal cover in the future, this is a great way to pull things together and use them in a journal cover. You know, again, I'm kind of hearkening back to she started here, then she went here. Um, this is where she was born. Um, this is who she ended up with. I love this, you know, gypsy kind of tattered look about these photographs. Love, of course, the bird. Another journal card right here. This is crackle coffee dye paper. I take paper and then I ball it up and smooth it out and then do some tea dye and coffee dye and it really turns out to be to me this looks like a treasure map you know like an old treasure map right here you can definitely see that we're we're thinking seaside ocean side beach side you know if I was thinking the other day I saw an advertisement for a retreat and I thought you know that would be so super cool to just be able to go on a retreat um, you know, maybe an artsy retreat, but that's not something that I can do. It's not something I can afford, but you know, what if this was your retreat, man? What if this book, our gypsy soul, our ocean sod, our seashells, that was our retreat. So a book as a retreat from life. She's just so beautiful. Love the 
And the dragonfly wings right here just kind of match perfectly with the coffee and tea dot that we have going on here. The pages are, because they're coffee and tea dot, they're sturdy pages. They are not like thin kind of pages. This is a wee thin, but you know, still you've got this wonderful image here, um, a great place to write on the back. These also contain an actual book within a book. Um, this, again, is the Edith Holton that we love, and I thought it would be really fun, you know, to, to craft just like a little book for you guys. Or if you want to flip it this way, you've got Edith Holton's writing about the naturescape in November. She was an Edwardian woman. I think this is probably 1891. Well, early 1900s, I believe we should say. But this is a book for you to write in. So you've got a mini book here. Lots and lots of tuck spots. There are journal prompts here. You've got two journal prompts right here. One is story and one is memories. So those are tucked in right there with your book. You know, wonderful way to just jump start getting, getting writing. These are two pockets where you can just stuff goodies in. I don't know what kind of goodies you got right now, but you can stuff them right here in these pockets. These are double pockets. This is a mistake, but I'm going to leave it because life is full of mistakes. And I got real caught up in trying to do things perfectly. And I know that's not like me, but I had an issue with it. And um, I was going to make one of those super cool pockets, but I glued this. So it's like, well, that's not going to work. But you can flip it right up and do like a little journaling spot right here. It could be a secret journaling spot. It could be a note to this book um, saying, welcome to my world. I also have a little bauble right here because I, I was trying to get rid of a teeny bauble and I made it into a bigger bauble because that's what happens when you when you make a little mistake and then you try to fix it. Often you end up with like a little smear right here. So, you know, disclaimer, that's there. I love the blue on these um, these wonderful dragonfly images from Lindsay absolutely stellar again with our seaside and dragonflies seaside right here she's got her pail and she's got her shovel she's either going to dig clams or she's gonna hunt seashells which is right here what's your favorite thing to do at the beach i mean do you love to um, a beautiful image of a sailing ship here do you love to lay on the beach and read? Are you more of a nightlife girl? Um, do you enjoy being with your family and friends? So we've got two little things right here in this pocket. Uh, again, one of those flip up pockets like I messed up on. I got this one right. Uh, there's a belly band right here. To me, the perfect beach trip is um, hunting seashells. I don't know what it is. It's a treasure hunt, man. You know, you just walk along. You find these beautiful things created from nature. Don't you love her? I love her. She is uh, standing against an old boat. Another beautiful gypsy with a moth here. These are from National Geographic Magazine. Uh, National, they are National Geographic Maps. That are included in those magazines. I've included some of my uh, quick pressed violets in here for you. This card says a door and there's journaling space on the back. I like this because you know we've got a seaside journal. This is clam cocktail, clam juice, crab meat, fish, grapes and orange juice, lobster, so you've got a uh, shrimp right there, a uh, kind of a selection of seafood right here. This says many happy returns. We think that uh, Miss Gladys here had an old cookbook, and this was her old cookbook. These were parts of her old cookbook. You know, again, just make things up. Imagine things. Another beautiful dragonfly here that goes really great with this green card, and you can do a lot with that. You can make yourself another mini book. If you want to, plenty of journaling space here. 
There is a beautiful image here. People hanging out on the rocks with a little rowboat. Um, this says at the seaside, when I was down beside the sea, a wooden spade they gave to me to dig the sandy shore. My holes were empty like a cup. In every hole the sea came up till it could come no more. And of course, that's Robert Louis Stevenson right there, another little tuck spot. Now, the back of the book features a, kind of a double belly band. I've put one of my coffee dyed filters in here and a couple more sheets of coffee and tea dyed paper. This book is $35 and it is $5 to ship. Now, let me show you the shipping um, option that I came up with. I did go to Dollar Tree yesterday for the first time and everything was a dollar 25 and that was that was a little weird but it's okay because even at a dollar 25 it's okie dokie i bought these beautiful padded envelopes and the cool thing is y'all that we can get away from that ten dollar shipping on journals and i can do five dollar shipping um, because these just fit great down in this little envelope now yeah you know it's a snug fit but you want a snug fit when you are mailing something it's just like perfecto and i'm very happy to kind of get away from that ten dollar priority mail envelope um the postage is becoming really expensive i wanted to come up with an option for a journal, a beautiful journal to offer to you guys that was not $10 to ship. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is going right into the shop in just a few minutes. And I appreciate your support so much. Thank you for kind of hanging out with me during my existential crisis that <laughs> that I've had over the past month or so. I appreciate your, your help, your wise words, your intuition, your advice, um, your kindness. So thanks a lot, y'all. I'll see you soon. Bye.